So this is Dollar Tree's version of the pink stuff. I've been wanting to try this for a while, but I've been also wanting to try the brand name, the pink stuff. But I think they're a little bit more pricier. This is for everything. Grills, stove tops, ovens, pots and pans, glass and silverware, chrome and tile, shower sinks and toilets. Granite countertops, washer and dryer, mold and mildew, soap scum, and mineral deposits. So this was a dollar twenty-five. As you know, um, some prices are going up in the Dollar Tree, but I opened it up to see what it looked like, and it looked like a paste. So I decided to try it out on the door there. I was having a little hard time getting the top off. I wet the sponge a little bit. And it's kind of like a, uh, if you remember what Elmer's glue paste was like, but a little bit softer. And so I'm just wiping down the door. Like sometimes the door, you know, we get handprints and things like that on the door and we forget about it. So I thought... Would it be perfect to test it out on the door? I think it's interesting that they say you can use it on pots and pans. It says you can use it on garden furniture, paintwork, boats, brass. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure about pots and pans, but it's kind of interesting. So, it's doing a job, y'all. It's doing a job. Of course, this door probably needs a paint job, but um, anyway, I thought it was a good place to test out this product, and especially for a dollar twenty-five, I think it's doing a great job. Um, be interesting to see if it works on stainless steel products. I don't think it says that, but I think the brand name Pink Stuff says that. Um, it says granite countertop, so I want to try this. I think I would like the spray ver version a little better, but I do like this because, um, I think you can leave it set on there for a while and then uh, wipe it off. It's saying to rinse with hot water after you're done. And it says to, if you apply too much pressure, this may scratch the surfaces. So I guess you got to be careful while you're using it. But I was like rubbing this door really, really hard. So I decided to do the light switch here. Because, you know, you just get handprints on things and, and, you know, life is busy and you just forget about it. So... That's what happened. So I'm seeing a lot of areas that I have to hit, y'all. That was a piece of tape that I had there to not turn that switch on because it cuts the computer off. So I took that off. All oh, the way, I guess the maintenance people had took the tape down. I didn't even notice it. And anywho. And then I saw some more spots. I saw some scuff marks on the door. I said, I wonder will they take that off? So, yeah, y'all. Let's see what it does. Look at that, y'all. It just totally got rid of that scuff mark. Very, very nice. And so, I tried it on this one. It didn't really get that one off too good, but you probably have to leave it set on there. Like I said, this door needs a paint job. But overall, I think I really like this, especially like I said, being a dollar twenty-five. Um, the brand name version is probably more powerful, or probably just about the same. So then I saw the baseboards. So I said, "Well, let me try to hit those." And so, we got that going pretty good there. 
and that very bottom of that door, it wasn't really coming off. Like I said, it needs to be painted, but the baseboard, it cleaned that pretty good, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I really like this product, and they had a whole bunch of them at the Dollar Tree. I've been seeing it for months now, so maybe you guys can check it out. If you checked it out, let me know what you thought about it, and what do you think about the price increases of at the Dollar Tree.